All right, um, this is a video on how to show you how to uh, polish your factory wheels on your Fiero. And uh, let's get started. All right, well, here's just a, um, a list of things that you're going to need to polish up your, your stock Fiero wheel. Um, usually what I would do with the other two, um, I wanted to try something new this time. Um, instead of actually um, putting paint thinner on it, not paint thinner, but the paint stripper, and taking off all the old clear coat, I'm actually just going to hit it with the fan wheel. This is a very high grit fan wheel. Doesn't doesn't leave many scratches, and it actually, off the bat, just makes it look shiny. And this kind of fills the void in for step one and two. And um, the next step after that would be the sandpaper. Um, you would you would want to go to 400 grit first, and then after that, you're going to want to go to a thousand grit. Once you have a thousand grit, you know, just simply, you know, um, choose your polish. I chose this. It's uh, for chrome aluminum and mag wheels. Um, it actually works quite well. And a a wheel, a buff wheel. Um, this is a high RPM. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but I just hook up my electric drill to it, and it it buffs just just fine and you know just a wire brush if you need it so let's get started alright so I'm going to start now um, I've actually placed the wheel on top of this bucket here they, they actually fit perfectly the diameter is almost the same anyway um, let me get started I have the angle grinder with the fan blade I'm just simply going to put my safety glasses on and Start hitting it. Okay, well this is after uh, using the angle grinder. As you can see, you know, it's uh, because of the high grit, it doesn't leave too many scratches and, you know, it leaves a good shine as is, but, you know, if you want your wheel to look like a mirror almost, then you have to do two more steps after this. So, next thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take, because uh, I couldn't really get in there with the angle grinder, I'm going to take some higher grit sandpaper. I'm going to run through there, get all these little, um, you know, pieces of corrosion or these corrosion spots here then after that I'm simply just going to start my wet sanding um, so let me show you what I'm going to use I'm going to use probably this higher grit right here I'm not sure on the uh, or lower grit I don't know sure what the grain is but uh, it should get the job done so let me hit those spots real quick Okay, um, now that I have the wheel cleaned up just the way I want it, um, the way you're going to want to sand is you're not just going to want to sand with just your fingers because it's not flat. If you can find something that's flat and can distribute um, the, the sanding equally, then that's your best bet because you're going to have uh, different uh, gouges in your sanding technique so what you want to do now is find something such as foam um, cardboard something that can stay flat when you press on it and start with your 400 grit and make sure you have your water with you and just simply dunk in the water and just sand and I would probably hit this spoke here for about a good 15 minutes each spoke maybe 10 minutes each one um, and then once you've got everything, then you move up to a thousand grit. So I'm going to continue doing that and I'm going to show you what it looks like after the 400. Okay, well, I just finished with the 400 grit and now I'm going to work my way to the thousand grit. So, um, as you can see, this is the 400 right here. And I'm going to hit it with thousand and we'll see what it looks like after it's done. 
Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do is just take some polish, and I see I've already started some of it already right here. Um, simply just take it and just wipe it on. Like I said, I'm using this stuff really good. So next thing I'm going to want to do is um, take my drill with my buffing wheel and simply just go over it and polish it out and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Well, after polishing and then washing it, there you go. That's what you want. There you go. If you have any questions, just let me know.